All right, Coach Bobby Bennett, talk to me about how 2020 affected you. Um, well, it was 2020 was tough and tough on everybody. I can't just worry about me, but yeah, we didn't have any fights. Um, but training was was still we still trained. So my gym was only shut down for about six weeks. So everybody, ever all my guys stayed in the gym. We stayed ready, and then. Uh, when the time came, everybody was ready to fight. There is that, basically that gap months as far as that, knowing what's going to happen with upcoming fights. What were some of the things you were telling Foster and Regis during that time? I didn't have to tell them much. We all knew we were just waiting, you know, it was just... Everybody was didn't know when boxing was going to start back up, so I didn't have to tell them much. We all we all knew what was going on. There was no boxing, so we really didn't have to talk much about it. We just started having this fight date for Halloween Day. How was training camp like, given the fact that, you know, you try to try to quarantine everybody coming in, but as far as the mental mindset, seeing Regis try to build himself up for that fight, was there any changes leading up to that training camp, leading up to that fight? No, we, we continue to train the same way. Um, I mean, uh, we just kept everybody out of the gym, you know, during the times he was training, but nothing else really changed. We trained the same way. When you were in that stadium for that fight, how was that feeling like, given the fact there was less of a capacity crowd, but also just the feeling around the vibes in that day? Take it, guys. It was weird. I, but it was weird, but uh, at the same time, it's like that was the first fight back with crowd. So we we never fought without crowd. You know, it was it wasn't packed like it should have been, but uh, it it definitely was like the way they had it set up. It was just. There's like cer certain chairs were blocked off, but everybody was bundling up together, so it really didn't <laughs> it didn't make much much of a difference, you know. And when you compared to compared to what happened on uh, the Ring City back in December, talk to me about that experience, like. Um, just well, that wasn't the first bubble I've been in where we didn't have a crowd. So, but it was that was tough. The whole thing is like trying to cut weight. All that that's the hard part when you get locked in the bubble. Like, so Regis, we had trouble making weight because we got there the first day. We got there Monday night. They tested us Tuesday morning. We couldn't leave the room till Wednesday, till we were cleared on Wednesday. So we had trouble, uh, you know, we, that was a whole day we didn't get to really work out. And that's one of our big workout days. So we missed that day. We, we, we couldn't, you know, we came close to making weight, but he wasn't going to make it. So we just killed that. But then with, with Ring City, we, I was prepared for it. Shock, shock was... He was close to weight when we got here, so there wasn't a problem. Now, when you look back at last year and now, as far as how do you see boxing for this year, for 2021, for you? Uh, well, it's going to be huge. You look, they're already doing big fights, so it's boxing is great. It's everything's starting to come back. It's you know, just got to get get the, the crowds back in to where we can have the really big fights. But I mean, look, Tank and Leo, that was a great fight, big fight. Um, you go back uh, this year, so Canelo's fought twice already. It's already, it's it's coming back. So it just, you know, and like, I, it never really ended, but we just got to get the crowds back. And as far as Foster, where, how do you see him as projecting him so far from last fight? What was your objective with him? I thought he showed a little bit of everything. You know, he's, he showed what he's what he's really capable of. He's, he's he can box from the outside. He can bang on the inside, and his IQ is higher than anybody out there. I, I don't think there's any 130 pounder out there that can beat him. as far as any other boxer that I should be aware of that you're watching or that you're working with besides Regis and Foster? Uh, Austin Williams. Emma Williams. Look at, check him out. How do you see him? 
he's developing, you know, just give him time. He's, he's definitely, he's got the ability. He's explosive, he can punch, he's fast, he's got it all. Just, just give him time, be patient, give him time to develop. Given the fact that he's young, what's one of the things that you told him from last year? Because I know he wants to fight continuously, built up his repertoire. What were you talking to him about? Just trying that? to calm him down, because he's, he's, he's anxious and he's angry because he's not fighting and he's, he's not, you know, he hasn't been through this before, so. Regis is shocked. They've been through it where they had times where they, they sat down and didn't fight. But with, with Austin, he's, he's, he hasn't been through it. So it was hard for him, really much much harder for him than anybody. But he um, he's, he's, he's coming around. Just like I said, just have be patient and give him time and, and he'll, uh, he'll definitely turn the corner.